Hi everyone, probably, many will agree that an important and, at the same time, stylish accessory is a hat, so let's knit one for ourselves. Let's start by crocheting a circle. Form a magic ring on your hand. Insert the hook into the magic ring and pull out a loop. Pass the yarn through the loop. The first simple crochet is ready. We'll do five more simple crochets. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth simple crochet. There are a total of six simple crochets on the hook. Find the tip of the yarn and tighten the magic ring. Join the first and last loop with a slip stitch. Make one chain. This will be the first loop in the second row. In the second row, we will crochet two simple crochets in each loop of the previous row. Second, simple crochet. Third and fourth simple crochets. Fifth and sixth simple crochets. Seventh and eighth simple crochets. Ninth and tenth simple crochets. And the last, 11th and 12th simple crochets. Join the first and last loop with a slip stitch. Make one chain. This will be the first loop in the third row. In the third row, we will crochet one single simple crochet and one increase alternate. One single simple crochet. Two simple crochets. One single simple crochet. Two simple crochets. Join the first and last loop with a slip stitch. Pull out a loop, insert the hook from the back side into the next loop, and bring the loop to the wrong side. Insert the hook from the front side and pull the yarn to the front side. There are two loops on the hook. Pull the yarn through the two loops on the hook. This will be the first loop in the fourth row. In the fourth row, we will crochet two single simple crochets and one increase alternate. One simple crochet. Two simple crochets. One simple crochet. One simple crochet. And two simple crochets. Join the first and last loop with a slip stitch. Pull out a loop, insert the hook from the back side into the next loop, and bring the loop to the wrong side. Insert the hook from the front side and pull the yarn to the front side. There are two loops on the hook. Pull the yarn through the two loops on the hook. This will be the first loop in the fourth row. In the fifth row, 
we will crochet three single simple crochets and one increase alternate. One simple crochet, one more simple crochet, two simple crochets, one simple crochet, one more simple crochet, one more simple crochet, two one more simple, simple crochets. crochet. Join the first and last loop with a slip stitch. Pull out a loop, insert the hook from the back side into the next loop, and bring the loop to the wrong side. Insert the hook from the front side and pull the yarn to the front side. There are two loops on the hook. Pull the yarn through the two loops on the hook. 1. Measure with a centimeter tape the circumference of your head. 2. Divide the resulting number by 3.14. 3. Subtract 2 from the resulting number. The diameter of the bottom of the hat should be 16 centimeters. Let's steam our circle with an iron. Start crocheting the body of the hat. Make one stitch in each loop of the previous row. You need to crochet up 9 centimeters without increases. We will not join the rows and continue crocheting from here. The webbing curls up a little, we're doing it right. Continue until the body of the hat is 9 centimeters. The body, the hat is ready. To crochet the field of the hat, 
you need to calculate how many loops you need to add. 1. Let's count how many loops in the circle, now. 2. Measure the diameter of the hat body. 3. Divide the number of loops in the circle by the diameter of the hat. 4. The final diameter of the hat brim is 28 centimeters. 5. Multiply 28 centimeters by the number we got in point 3. 6. Subtract from the resulting number, the original number of loops, and find out how much we have to add during the crochet hat brim. 7. The length of the hat brim is 5.5 cm. To find out how many rows it is, we calculate how many rows in 10 centimeters we have crocheted. Divide this number by 10 and multiply it by 5.5. For 9 rows, you need to add 50 loops. I'm adding 6 loops in each row, so I'll knit the increases in rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and row 9 will be without increases. Since I did 13 single simple crochets and one increase in the last row of the bottom of the hat, I will now crochet 14 single simple crochet and one increase alternately. And the first row of the hat brim I will crochet behind the front wall of the loop. 14 single simple crochet and one increase alternate. In next row, 15 single simple crochet and one increase alternate.
In next row, 16 single simple crochet and one increase alternate. After the third row of crochet, protrusions began to form. To avoid them, we will move the increase one to the left. So now we will make one simple crochet and one increase instead of the last loop. In this row, 17 single simple crochets and one increase alternate. In this row, 17 single simple crochets and one increase alternate. In this row, 18 single simple crochets and one increase alternate. In this row, 19 single simple crochets and one increase alternate. In this row, 20 single simple crochets and one increase alternate. In this row, single simple crochets in each stitch.
The brim of the hat turned out to be 5.5 centimeters. Steam with an iron. <laughs> 